Another shoe review. Have I filmed this on the same day as the Farang shoe review? Of course not, I'm wearing a different t-shirt. No, but in all seriousness, I, I totally am. So if you have any kind of comments or criticism on the Farang shoe review, I, I haven't heard them because I, I can't go to the future. Anyway, before I get stuck into the Lafleur shoe, I actually ended up giving Jesse a ring a couple of weeks ago just to get some input on, on certain elements of this. Ended up having over an hour long conversation, which I happened to press record on. So if you want to go and read a, a full length interview with Lafleur about every element of this shoe, more than I can cover in this review, and also his thoughts on being progressive in parkour and other elements of his life, then hit the link in the bio, go check it out because it's really worth a read. So before I talk about the shoe, I want to talk about the packaging. Now Jesse told me that he had much bigger plans for the box, but I, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think technically it's just a, a stock sort of cardboard shoe box and they've spray painted on the Tempest logo, but it doesn't faze me that much. Once you're inside the box, that's where stuff starts to get a little bit more exciting. You're first greeted by a very purple shoe bag. The whole thing feels like it has a, a really high level of quality to it, which I know is what Jesse was really pushing for. Like he wasn't going in to try and make some low entry kind of for your average Joe trainer. He wanted to make something that was like seriously progressive. And I think to be honest, he's achieved that. You then get your kind of standard cards. This one's actually been signed by Jesse. I don't know if that was a personal touch just for me or whether or not he did it for everyone, but I like to think it was just for me. Some more purple wrapping paper followed by the shoes themselves. So the shoe itself is quite obviously a high top. It is the first parkour specific high top that exists. Compared to something like the Farang shoe where they've obviously referenced that Adidas shoe, this, as far as I'm aware, is 100% from ground to top, which as I spoke about in the previous review is insanely expensive, way more time consuming and way more risky because you might end up developing something that maybe doesn't work that well and your costs are gonna be way higher so you're not gonna make as much money on this kind of thing. Jesse's aware of that. He's not doing this to try and make loads of money or, or make something that is sort of standard. If you look at Jesse and the Tempest guys, all they do is go big. They go like just fucking in your face. And as much as this shoe may not be to your taste, I don't think you can hate on that. So in just regarding the fact that it's a high top, he said to me on the phone that so many people disregard it because they're like, oh, it's a high top, I don't like high tops. And, and then many people have never worn a high top. If you actually put this on your foot, it may look big, but it doesn't feel big. When you wear it, the aesthetic of it, you don't feel like you're walking around in some big clumpy basketball shoe. So I think people need to open their mind just a little bit, just regarding something like this. Also, there's a reason why it's a high top. Jesse made this thing for ankle support. Jesse has had a history of bad ankles, so if he's gonna make a shoe for him, a pro model shoe. He's gonna do it for him and therefore he wants that added ankle support. So anyway, onto the aesthetics without kind of factoring in the fact that, oh, it's a scary high top. Yes, there's purple on it. It's not the color that I would go for, but I think it's done pretty tastefully considering. So some more noticeable parts of the aesthetic are we have the mesh upper toe area here, but then we still have this kind of suede, I think it's a suede fabric around the side. So you're gonna still get your kind of durability for the high risk ripping areas, but you're still gonna get some breathability here. They've got this kind of fish scale pattern. Tempest have always had a thing about goldfish. It comes around the sides and here. Branding wise, simple Tempest logo on the back, tiny purple Tempest logo there. The ankle strap has Le Flair written all the way around it, kind of black on black, so it's not like crazy in your face. They have this textured insole, which apparently is sort of meant to help with uh, like foot slippage, but even if it doesn't work, it still just feels really nice on your feet. And they're just really comfortable to walk around in. This midsole here is actually custom developed foam made by Tempest. It's called True Foam Technology. So they worked with a manufacturer to try and find the best kind of foam that they think is, is a balance of kind of comfort and, and Im impact absorption. There's this wider area here that they've extended. They, they call it the extended precision zone. Out of all the things on this shoe, this is the one that to me feels maybe a little gimmicky. I don't really get how that's gonna make the biggest difference in the world. I have slightly inward rolling feet. So looking down, it makes me feel like my foot is, is rolling more inwards because I see more of this, which freaks me out a little bit. But I can't lie, I can't say I've experienced better precision since since training with this area or anything like that. Also, before I go any further, as you can see, these are not 
crazy worn in. I haven't been able to train in them a huge amount. I'm gonna try and keep training in them, but they are a tiny bit big for me. They're technically a US 10, which should be about a UK 9, therefore they should fit me nicely, but they seem to run a little bit big, so bear that in mind when you're picking them up. My first impression since training in them is, firstly, as many other people have said, they are insanely light. They look like they should weigh a ton. You're not gonna have any worries about the weight of this shoe. All right, we are here with the main man, Joseph Marks, who has been training in the La Flares for about a couple of weeks now. Yeah. How first impressions through to kind of now that you've worn them in a bit, I, like, I actually really like these. Like, I'm going to be wearing these until the, I can't wear them anymore. Favorite thing is they are not coming off your foot once you got them on. They're not coming off your foot. <laughs> what? Because of the lacing system, or just because they fit well? Or um, it's hard to get them on and off. And then you had this added, this strap. So like, it never feels like it's going to fall off. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. it feels like it's part of your foot. And do you feel like this is like adding a lot of ankle support? Oh, 100%. Like when I'm doing a big jump. This like whole bit here is like feels like it stops me from getting ankle thing. And for me, that's kind of what makes this shoe so cool is that Jesse has looked at a very common injury that we experience in parkour and thought, well, how do I do something that is going to potentially alleviate that? One thing about the shoe that I do find a little over the top is the length of lace is is massive. Thankfully, the shoe does come with pockets down the side where you can tuck your laces in. So any excess lace you can whack down there, but it does seem very excessive, but also not something that would sway me from buying the shoe. The grip is weirdly simplistic. It's just kind of diagonal lines with a Tempus logo cut into it, but it hasn't caused me nearly as many problems as I thought it would have. Obviously, as with most parkour shoes at the moment, this is a higher price point than you would typically find on the high street, but this quality is unmatched in my opinion. From the packaging all the way through to every single aspect of this shoe, it screams quality and it's always gonna be Jesse. It's always gonna be Jesse being that guy to push it to that level. And as much as this might not be aesthetically pleasing for you or the type of shoe that you might necessarily wanna train in, I don't think you can hate on somebody who not only is just trying to push it to sort of make an impact, but also he wants to push the technology side of things. And even he doesn't know how far he wants to go with it or how far it needs to go. But to grow the industry of parkour, there's gotta be someone who is, is pushing and progressing in that direction because why not? For that, I really commend Jesse and any of the other Tempest guys who got this shoe off the ground because any step we take in any direction in the industry that is parkour is progression and it needs to be explored. So that's why I think you should support Jesse and the shoe. If you can buy it, try it out, test it, try to get away from that kind of closed minded mentality of like, oh, it's purple or oh, it's a high top. Like this could be the best parkour shoe that you've ever tried. Also, even if you don't want to train in it, wear it as a casual shoe or just put it on a shelf. Support people within the industry of parkour who are doing progressive things. I, I actually wear these when I sleep. No way. Yeah, like if, if you sleep in these and then you like take them off and... <laughs>